Hey up troops, it's a little to near again with another video and this time we're going through ace Ace for me is probably the most well-rounded attacker. You can do it all soft destruction hard destruction opening reinforced walls opening reinforced hatches vertical play You can do the lot couple that with one of the best guns on attack and for me an ace should be taken Almost every attack round now as always I know I can ramble on a little bit So I'm gonna bang the timestamps in the timeline below if you already know the basics Skip to what you want to see, and hopefully you can still learn something today. Now, I always say this at the end of the video, but I'm going to get it in early doors again this time. If you like the video, if you like my older videos, please subscribe to the channel. It costs you absolutely nothing, and it absolutely makes me day. So cheers. Thank you if you do. So Ace was requested on a previous video. If there's an operator you want to see going forward, get it in the comments below, and I'll put it in the list to be done next. So just a little bit about Ace before we get started. His utility is unbelievably strong. He has three what are called Selma charges. You can throw those at walls and they'll stick to soft floors, soft walls, soft ceilings, or reinforced walls and reinforced hatches. There's even tricks to them where you can open electrified hatches and electrified walls yourself. There's a few tricks, like I say, later in the video, but we'll get on to that. Now, Ace is best used as a hard breacher, really, but let's just say your Asher's of Fear goes down early in the round and you need to get rid of shields and other utility, Ace can still do that job as well to an extent. So without me waffling on any more, because I know I do a lot of that anyway, let's get stuck into the video. So as always then, the first thing we'll look at with Ace is his loadout. Just also, I mean, he looks class. Look at him. Big shiny suit and some shades. Bear me that. So the first thing to look at is his gun. His gun is in the top 5% at least of the uh, of the best attacking guns. The AK-12 is insane as you can see. It's got just 45 damage and a fire rate of 850. It does come with quite a high recoil, and if, but if you can get to grips with the recoil, it's an absolute beast. I usually rock a 2x and a vert grip. However, on certain maps, I'll run um, a hollow and an angle grip. On coastline, I run that, and on border, I run that. Always a flash hider, so it brings the vertical recoil down. But again, this is this is all um, it's all complete personal preference. I like flash every time, and then I usually run two X invert. Um, but it's up to you what you want to run. Laser, obviously, that's again preference. It, I, I've never used the shotgun. I don't know why you would, but if you want to, go for it. Um, I, I mean, I don't even know what to say if someone was running a shotgun on Ace. To be honest, <laughs> unless it's like a shotgun challenge or casual, then I don't know. Um, but Claymore and Breaching Charge, again, it depends what the map. If I'm attacking Clubhouse top floor like CCTV or Gym, I'll always take a Claymore. If I'm playing a map that's got a lot of soft destruction, I'll take the Breaching Charge. I change depending on what map's going on. But for me, the AK-12 is up there with one of the best guns on the entire attacking, uh, attacking choice of weapons. So just to start with the very basics about how AC's utility works, the Salma Charge, it does exactly the same thing for hard walls or reinforced walls as it does for soft walls or unreinforced walls. And all you're going to do is throw the Salma at the wall. It'll drop down twice. And like a sort of mini throwable Thermite Exothermic Charge, it'll create a hole in the reinforced wall. And I can show you the soft wall as well while we're here. I think there is a terrorist behind here. Um, so be on guard. I just, did I just see that? Yeah, we did. Come on, everyone. There we go. I don't think I've ever breached this wall in a ranked game for obvious reasons. But there you go. You can see that reinforced wall has now got a hole in it. And the soft wall has also been done exactly the same thing. So, you can now leave this reinforced wall so you can vault in. I personally, whenever I'm um, breaching it, excuse me. Whenever I'm reinforcing, uh, sorry, when I'm opening a reinforced wall, I'm just getting thrown off me uh, flow here by terrorists running out on me. Um, whenever I'm opening a reinforced wall, I generally use two Salmas on one side so my teammates and I can walk through the, the breach rather than having to vault through. Because vaulting through, let's pretend this is CCTV wall on the other side on club. And top red is to the right. You've got to vault through and your crosshairs all over the show as you're vaulting. You can't go through smoothly. So I always throw two personally. And you just you can open that again by just throwing another one. It'll drop down once and pop open. And the other one will drop down and pop open as well. And now you've got a fairly sizable sort of thermite sized hole with two salmas. And you can walk through there. And if you need to, you know, run through and peek to the right or whatever you need to do. Or um, you, can, you can go through without having to vault. One thing I will mention whilst I'm still on this uh, this wall here, and I can show you an example, is you may well have a bandit, a bandit tricking from the other side. It's almost impossible to bandit trick an ace if you throw the Salma onto both sides at the same time. At least one side of one charge of Salma will pop off. So if you get someone on repel, once one side of the Salma's gone, you're going to see the bandit either side, depending on which side he's going to be. But yeah, it's sort of it's almost bandit proofable as well. Um, so yeah, really, really strong piece of utility. 
So just onto reinforced hatches now. And before I go into how Ace goes about getting past reinforced hatches and, and hatches that are even soft, I just want to run through some basic info on hatches and siege in general. I have talked about this on other videos. Um, so if you've seen that, obviously skip through this. But if not, this is a bit of general info. A hatch and siege has a million HP, okay? Various different hard breach gadgets do various bits of damage. Talking about Ace here, obviously, because we're on the Ace video, each Salma does 500,000 damage. So you're going to need two Salmas to destroy a reinforced hatch. If this hatch is soft, it only needs one Salma to destroy because soft hatches don't have a million HP. Now, if this hatch is not electrified, you can go ahead and throw the Salma straight onto the hatch. Obviously, you need two, but throw it straight onto the hatch and the hatch will destroy. If the hatch is electrified, Ace can still open reinforced hatches. Sorry, I keep saying reinforced. Ace can still open uh, reinforced hatches that are electrified. All you've got to do is throw the Salma so the main part of the Salma lands off the hatch and the legs extend onto the hatch. Now, obviously, it's susceptible to uh, impact tricking, but, you know, let's just hope the uh, the opponent isn't aware of that. So you want to throw it just off the hatch, so the main part is off, and the legs cross over onto the hatch. That'll destroy half of it. And then again, and as I say, this works when the hatch is electrified as well. So if you were using kitchen on this map, there you go. And that's the hatch open. If the hatch is soft, it only needs one Salma. And if the hatch isn't electrified, just go ahead and throw the, the Salma straight onto the reinforced hatch. So on top of being able to use the Salma charges to destroy reinforced walls or to make a hole in reinforced walls, Ace can also use the Salma charges to destroy shields, which is actually pretty useful. Um, so you just throw it on the on the uh, the shield there. That hasn't quite clipped through there, but there you go. And you'll see it just destroys the shield with one Salma charge. It only takes one Salma charge. You don't have to wait for the Salma charge to drop down or anything like that like you do with a wall. You just throw it at the shield and, um, and yeah, the shield will be destroyed. It actually, you have to get, excuse me, um, you have to get pretty useful at throwing the uh, the Salma charges and learn the arc of them to get rid of some shields. But you can even get rid of shields that are on like Pixel and Cat Top 4 on Cafe just from repelling on the windows. It's really, really useful. Obviously, just be careful because Ace charges, um, you just got to be careful of Wumai and ADS. Uh, sorry, Wumai and ADS, um, Wumai discs and Jaeger ADSs because they'll zap them. So to just run over some quick examples of where Ace is stronger than Thermite, and Habana's also the same because she can do it at range. Thermite has his uses, but this is where Ace comes in and stronger. So the first one I'll show you is Oregon. And they're dead simple. It's just you can open the reinforced walls at range. So this closet walls reinfor uh, will be reinforced on a top floor defense. This floor is soft, and if you're a Thermite, you're always at danger of getting C4'd whilst you're putting the charge on the wall here. So just being able to open that from here is really, really strong. That's the first example. Two quick examples on Chalet then. First one, uh, all on the top four, but both from uh, from either side of the map. So if you want to open Solar Wall, obviously if you're Thermite, you've got to go in here and, and go up to that wall to breach. You can breach from Repel, which is really strong. You can do that and then just hold the door or do whatever you want to do, but being able to do that from Repel is, is really, really useful. And then of course, on the other side of the map, sticking with Chalet. The other main wall that you want to breach is here. But again, this is a soft wall. You do see a soft wall, sorry. You do see some pre-placed C4s under here at times. But he, jumping through this window, unless you've droned it out, fully exposes you to the, the garage uh, main stairs there, fireplace stairs, and also to uh, to games. So being it without having to vault in, to be able to be here, and you can open the uh, open the wall for a uh, range and hold it at range without having to dive through the window. Again, strong. So the final place I'll show you which is super strong to be able to open at range is on cafe if you're attacking top floor. You don't want to be dropping the red hatch ideally to, to get this wall open because it leaves you so vulnerable from many different angles. But you can open it from here at the comfort of being above the hatch. Obviously you can open it at whatever um, height you want so you can you can bolt through or whatever but it doesn't really matter too much here. Uh, but yeah, if, you, if you're Thermite and you've got to drop here and put the charge on here, you're open from all sorts of, uh, of angles. God, I hate those speakers. Uh, you're open from all sorts of angles. So yeah, being able to do it from the safety of the roof is, is really, really advantageous. And look, I'm not just dumping on Thermite here. Thermite's my favorite operator. Thermite is mad useful in a lot of places where Ace isn't as well, where you need to create a bigger hole. So don't just think I'm going always take Ace over Thermite. It's a bit situational. And depending on the site you're attacking, just think about whether you need to breach at range or not. I know I keep using examples on wild walls that have been reinforced by the terrorists in Sea Hunt, but it's the only ones I can... They won't ever reinforce the CC wall over there for some reason. Another tip with Ace, 
is it let's just say a wall is muted and this only works with mute and not electrification the mute area of effect now is this sort of effect it's kind of an arc from the if the mute jammer's in the middle of the wall here if i can make it with bullets it's going to go like this so obviously you can't shoot the top of the reinforcement out because it's reinforced however what you can do because of where the the mute arc again it's like this i'm gonna get a shot you can throw an ace salma in the top corner like this which will then open I mean, you can let the second one go if you want, but for the purpose of demonstration. So now you've got a hole in the um, in the reinforcements, and you can nade through this now. So you, and if you've got the sledge or an ion or a finker or whatever, or a knock, you can uh, you can now nade through that. Obviously, you've got a line of sight as well. I like doing this on the chalet on the garage door. So even if the wall's muted, you can create a line of sight at the top, and then at least play on repel to try and get some kills the other side. So yeah, open it up for grenades, even play through it on a repel. But you, if the wall's electrified, you can't do that. That's only a trick if the, if the wall's muted. The other thing that you don't really see people using Ace for, but he's actually pretty good at, is vertical destruction, mainly shields. But if you, obviously, his gadget's really good at getting rid of, of reinforced walls. However, if there's a shield here, like you can see on, on that ping there, if you come underneath there and throw your Ace charge underneath, and I jump back on the drone, if you're out of soft breach, and you need to get rid of a shield and it's on a soft wall, you can't destroy it from below. The same goes for bandit batteries. If you know the bandit batteries are on classroom... Is there someone in here? Hang on. No, we're clear. If you know the bandit batteries are on classroom, and you throw an ace charge on the wall... On the ceiling, sorry. The, the, it, the explosion of the ace charge, the Salma going off itself, may destroy the bandits. However, you can now see where the bandits would be or where the Cade would be. So you can do a bit of vertical destruction with ace as well. Something else you can do with Ace as well is using the, the example I showed you before where you can go underneath in classroom and get the bandit batteries off from below. Let's just say that the floor, the other side of the reinforced wall is not soft. So you've got to do it from this side, but this side is soft. You can, Despite this wall being electrified, let's just use our imagination and pretend these terrorists have electrified the wall. You can use a, an Ace charge to don't put it right next to the wall because it'll get destroyed by the electric. But much like a hatch, you want to put the main part of the charge on the floor here, so the legs uh, like overlap the the wall. So a bit like this. That will pop a, a small hole into the wall, and then using that uh, hole, then you can then either use it as a line of sight. I don't recommend doing that because there's a defender probably already looking at this. But you can try and get an angle to find the bandit battery. So again. Don't put it, like, here, because it'll get destroyed, but a bit further away so the legs overlap on the wall. Just like that. And there you go. You can use that line of sight now to destroy the bandit batteries or the mute jammer or whatever it is you need. Another really useful strat for Ace, and this is very similar to the Maverick video, and the, and the lines of sight are exactly the same, but you just stop the Salma from dropping down twice. So if you remember the Maverick video, I said you could step up on this, um, like, clothes thing here. And if you watch where my crosshair goes, you see how it just goes up that, that different bit there. So you could breach the wall on the right side. Throw a Salma high up on the left side. Shoot out the Salma. Any defender now thinks that's too high to worry about, right? Maybe just get a headshot there. If you step up on the coat rack, you can get a line of sight straight into Attic there. Always shoot the radio. And that's the same on the, the lines of sight for the Maverick video that I showed you as well. So the, on bakery, on chalet. Excuse me, sir. Um, so like I say, if you're, if, bear in mind the coat's there as well. So it does tend to hide heads sometimes. But if you're playing here and you're looking at the breach here, you're looking at the breach here. The last thing you're going to expect is one person's head there. So just use it to create lines of sight as well. So there we have it. That sums up Ace. In my opinion, probably the most well-rounded and strongest attacker on attack overall. He does a lot of different jobs well. I really enjoy playing him because you can assume any role with him. Well, not any role. You can't play flank watch with Ace, but you know what I mean. You can do quite a few different roles and be good at them as well. With that AK-12, you can almost justify taking him for that gun alone. I'll say it again. If you haven't already subbed to the channel, please do. It really helps me out. It costs you absolutely nothing. I also stream on Twitch four days a week. You can catch me over there on a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday from 8 p.m. UK time until late, normally about midnight or so. Other than that, that wraps it up for Ace. One of my favorite attackers, I'll say it again. And I'll catch you next time. Cheers.